Jackson Green showing up to class. Hey, I happen to like Mr. Phipps' class. The old guy acts as young as his students. Oh, please. Mr. Phipps may be lively, but he doesn't act nearly as young as us. Good morning, all. Uh, I would have been here sooner if it weren't for those blasted stairs. Good for you, Mr. Phipps. Bicycling is a great way to pump you up. Time to pick up chicks. <laughs> Pick up chick, crack me up. Hey, can I borrow the bike? Wow, Mr. Phipps. Last month you went bungee jumping, the month before that, parasailing. What's next? Bullfighting? Bullfighting? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I did that last year. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, let's begin. Um, who can tell me about the, uh, the poet Horace? Ah. Mr. Green. He was the ancient Roman who coined the Latin expression carpe diem. <coughs> it's a carpe diem. <coughs> Lance, carpe diem means seize the day. Sure, that does. <laughs> well done, Miss Fontaine. Yeah. And uh, what did Horace mean by that? Well, that you only live once, so you might as well go for it. Ah, precisely. And as a man who lives by those words, I urge you all to do the same. If there's something out there you want to experience, don't hesitate. Go for it. Well, there's definitely something I'd like to experience right now. Really, Lauren, that's highly inappropriate. Oh, that's all right, Miss Elliot. You know, we should applaud those who are bold enough to seize the day. I see. Well, in that case... I'm living, baby. Christian, baby, let's show him what it's all about. Uh, Christian? Christian! Winnie, uh, you have to understand, I was just going for it like Mr. Phipps told us to do. You were looking at another girl. Good, you do understand. <laughs> sure I do, honey. Look, uh, I know where you live. <laughs> oh. What? Just trying to seize the day. <laughs> I like to watch. Laz. <laughs> mean it, Christian. I'm gonna kill you. For the last time, when you was playing basketball, I wasn't staring at another girl. You were, too. She was up in the stands. Blonde hair, red sweater. Wrong. She was wearing a blue sweater, not... <laughs> I never tell you how much I love you, cute little button nose. <laughs> nice try, but I'm not speaking to you anymore. Fine, I'm not talking to you anymore either. <laughs> You're so darn cute. <laughs> Listen, everyone, I need some help. Well, that's great, sir, because admitting it is the first step towards recovery. <laughs> I was referring to Mr. Phipps' 70th birthday. It's today. I was hoping you could all prepare a nice little surprise party for him tonight. We'd love to, Father, but why don't you? Dear girl, I have pressing business this afternoon. Don't want to miss Rosie O'Donnell, huh? <laughs> All right, well, let's get organized. We've got to invite people, make decorations, bake a cake. Oh, oh I'll do it. I have the perfect recipe. I hope it's chocolate. Nope. Veal. <laughs> Veal. <laughs> Laz, your addiction to meat has gone way over the edge here. All right, we'll have a chocolate cake. <laughs> with bacon sprinkles. <laughs> solve your problems unless you talk. Now go on. Don't be afraid. Open up. Say what's on your minds. Shut, Shut up. up. <laughs> now don't you feel better? All right, Mr. Phipps is coming. Come on, come on. Come on, everybody, get ready. Surprise! Oh, this is above and beyond the call of duty. But I... I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Happy 70th, Mr. Phipps. Yeah, happy 70th! 70th? 
<laughs> I would. Where have all the years gone? There, there, good man. You're as young as you feel. You're right, Mr. Elliot. So, Mr. Bray, what are you doing Saturday night? <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. There's nobody can deny. Your candles. Mr. Phipps? Mr. Phipps, you okay? Well, of course he is. He probably just nodded off. Yeah. Mr. Phipps. He did not off. He's dead. Christian, I know we're not talking, but hold me. Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah. I just can't believe that Mr. Phipps is really dead. I'm going to miss him. He was such a marvelous teacher. He inspired all of us. When he died, it made me think of so many things. Yeah, like who gets to keep his birthday presents? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. All right. Here we go. Pork chops. Rump roast, whiskey, leg of lamb. Class, what are you doing? Well, Mr. Phipps dying made me realize how precious every life is, so I'm throwing out all my meat and becoming a vegetarian. Class, you gotta be kidding. Kidding? When it comes to meat, blah, 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 Lazzarini's don't kid. <laughs> hey, Lass, forgot the salami stick. No, I didn't. That's my bookmark. <laughs> Guys, how are you doing? Fine. Jackson and I decided to stop seeing each other exclusively. Say what? Well, I know it's sudden, but Mr. Phipps' death really made us think. Yeah. I mean, life's too short. We need to experience as much as we can, and that includes dating other people. Really? So you don't mind Lauren dating other guys? No. Why? What? You're not thinking of asking Lauren out, are you? Me? No, no. Okay. I'll call you later. <laughs> You know, Mr. Phipps' death has made me feel totally opposite. Time is precious. I want to spend every minute with you. Oh, Christian. Winnie, I promise I'll never look at another girl again. <gasps> you know, Lauren, if you play a card right, there could be me and you. <laughs> hey. So, what do you think? Plastic shoes, Laz? Yeah. Well, I figured wearing leather is just as bad as eating meat. Well, Laz, isn't that a leather belt you're wearing? Thank you. You know, you just saved me from some embarrassment. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> hey, where have you been, Ash? Uh, just doing a little shopping. Oh, that's great. You're really taking Mr. Phipps' death well. I was worried you were going to freak out. Me? <laughs> Nonsense. What are you doing? Just disinfecting this germ pit before I catch my death. <laughs> Ashley, that's really not necessary. Oh, yes, it is. There's bacteria everywhere. If we're not careful, we'll end up like Mr. Phipps. Worm food. <laughs> Hello, all. I just dropped by to ask if one of the more articulate among you would say a few words at Mr. Phipps's memorial service tomorrow. I'd be delighted. <laughs> what? Afraid I'll do something embarrassing? Don't you always? Come on, I gotta be me. Oh, very well, but I expect you to give the occasion the dignity it deserves. No problem, sir. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Michelle. Jackson. Sure. Hey, you can go to the movies with me? Great. Yeah, all right, I'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> What? Didn't we agree not to be exclusive? Sure. I just can't believe you're acting on it so quickly. <laughs> just season the day. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. You ready for our date? Been waiting all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for... 
Ashley? Don't breathe on my sister. You could be a carrier. How's your date? Great. Yours? Great. Yeah. So, when are you gonna go out again? Oh, I don't know. It's not like I'm in a rush or anything. Yeah, me either. So, so what are you, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> All right, will everyone please take your seats? The memorial service is about to begin. Mr. Lazzarini? Well, Mr. Phipps definitely touched my life. Thanks to him, I'll never eat another living creature again. <laughs> never will I taste a juicy sirloin steak <laughs> or a rack of tangy beef ribs. <laughs> Or a succulent pork chop made from real corn-fed pigs. <laughs> so I guess there's just one thing to say here, folks. I hope you're happy, Mr. Phipps, because I'm the one who's dying here. <laughs> Let us move on to the prayer portion of the service. That's a fast mistake. If you don't mind, I also have to say something. Mr. Phipps always said, life is too short to start living tomorrow. Well, I know how I want to live today. I want to be as committed as possible to my Winnie. So here it goes. Winnie Sue Barnes, will you marry me? What? <laughs> Christian, you gotta be joking. No, Winnie, I've never been more serious in my life. Okay, then you gotta be crazy. No. <laughs> It'd be crazy if I didn't propose. We've got to seize the day. Winnie, I think you know what to do. Let the boy down gently. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Elliot. I know just what I want to say. Okay, baby, I'll marry you. <laughs> serious about getting married. They're not, Lauren. I know. You're making a tape for America's Funniest Home Videos, and you've hidden the camera in... Winnie's favorite stuffed animal. <laughs> Can I still be a bridesmaid? <laughs> Come on, guys. You're way too young for such a big commitment. Oh, no. Not. Look, people in Europe get married young all the time. Yeah, that's right. Like my great uncle Otto. He got married in fifth grade. He was only 10 years old? No, 30. <laughs> Laz, I know you're going through meat withdrawal, but Christian's your buddy. Laz! <laughs> do something. Oh, I'm gonna do something, all right. I'm gonna eat you! <laughs> Breath, okay? We're getting married in a month and nothing's gonna change our minds. A month? Well, if you feel so strongly about each other, why not tomorrow? Tomorrow? Good idea, Lauren. Come on, Winnie. We've got some planning to do. Oh, let me help. I love weddings. Okay, well, come on. Let's go to the cafe and talk about it. The cafe? Hmm. Are you mad? That's on the outside where diseases and things lurk. <laughs> I'm never leaving my room again. <laughs> Now, do y'all think Ashley's acting weirder than usual? No. <laughs> I mean, either. You're a fascinating girl, Lauren. I really admire your mind. Do you want to make out? Sorry, Tim. I don't kiss on the first date. Unless I had an incredible time, which I did. You had a really nice time tonight. Kiss you? Yeah, of course I'll kiss you. <laughs> Yeah, good night. I had, I had a great, great time. time. Me, Me too. too. <laughs> Jackson, I have a confession to make. So do I. The only thing I could think of while I was on my dates was how much I miss you. Really? Yeah. Me too. So maybe we should go back to seeing just each other, huh? Yeah. But are you sure that just seeing each other is really enough? Hey, babe, you and me, Saturday night. <laughs> it's enough. What are you thinking about? 
Winnie, what are you thinking about? Meat. <laughs> Lars, being a vegetarian is obviously very hard for you. Are you sure you want to continue? I have to. I made a commitment. So what about you? You sure you want to marry Winnie? Absolutely. I mean, I love Winnie. So what could go wrong? Class? <laughs> Good night, Lars. I'm home. Where's my beautiful woman? Shh. Can't you see I'm in the middle of watching the fights? Is that more important than saying hello to your husband? Winnie, I'm working 18 hour day to support you. The least you could do is cook me some dinner. Oh, all right, all right. I guess I should make you something. <laughs> there you go. Suck on that. <laughs> hey, Christian. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Enjoying the single life. life. Yeah, me too. Life is great. Look at my house. Look at my wife. <laughs> Please shoot me. <laughs> It's your fault for deciding to get married so young, huh? Boy, I wish Mr. Phipps were here so I could tell him off for teaching me all that seize the day stuff. You rang? Mr. Phipps, how did you get here? How should I know? This is your dream. Oh, yeah. How could you ruin my life with all that carpe diem stuff? Oh, my dear boy, I didn't tell you to get married so young. I said seize the day, not be an idiot. <laughs> so how do we get out of this? Get out? <laughs> well, it's a bit late for that now. <laughs> no! Hey, you guys can congratulate me. I haven't had a craving for meat in 24 hours. Yeah. Aw, congratulations, Les. I know it was hard for you. Yeah, it was hard. But when Bobby Lazzarini puts his mind to something, he's got the world power of Superman. Ooh, cocktail weenie, thank you. <laughs> oh, man! What have I done? Oh, face it, Laz. You're a born meat eater. You can't stop nature. Yeah, well, thanks for the pep talk, Jackson. It's gonna take more than that to cheer me up. How about the whole tray, huh? Well, that should do it. Okay. <laughs> well, it's too bad Ashley wouldn't come. She loves weddings more than anything. Yeah, well, you heard her. Until they disinfect the entire planet, she's not leaving the dorm. <laughs> Why is everyone staring? Did I miss the bouquet toss? <laughs> You nervous? No, I'm fine. Are you ready, Christian? Christian, I'm not Christian, I'm Jewish. You must have the wrong guy. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, before we begin, does anyone have a problem? Actually, I do. It takes an hour to remove this thing and I have to go to the ladies' room. <laughs> oh, you meant problem with the wedding. None, carry on. <laughs> Does anyone else object? I do. You do? I do. You see, I had this dream. You did? I did. She did. I got caught up in the rhythm. <laughs> I'm so sorry, baby, but I had this dream that we got married too young, and I was working to support the both of us while you just laid around eating chocolates all day. Oh, and get this, that dead old Mr. Phipps appeared told me I was an idiot. That's amazing, I had the same dream. Was I pregnant in yours? No, you were just fat. I guess we shouldn't get married then, huh? No, baby, the thought of marrying you makes me want to throw up. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Well, then, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Christian, you may now kiss the girlfriend. 